Well, hello there, stranger. It's nice to finally sit down and talk. With you breaking into my house and all, it's nice to finally get to know each other. So I made dinner. I like to call it a chet de coulmaison. It's kind of a delicacy of mine. What we have here is rich crackers, sharp cheddar cheese, hune de mustard for the sauce, two frozen french fries, topped with a cilantro garnish and a strawberry candy. Gosh, I'm just so famished, if I may say so myself. Quit looking at me like that. Let me wash this down. Oh, I got you something to drink too. It's tap water with a candy peach wedge for flavor and taste. Gosh, this is so good. I'm just so full. No one really looks at me like the way you do. So, I kind of want to open up to you. Well, if I'm being honest, um, you do something to me. It's like, I'm sorry. Sorry, let me, let me restart. I don't know what it is. It's like a spark that, I don't know what the hell. I'm so sorry. No, it's not, it's not you. It's, what the hell? Let me just start from the top. There's like a, a flame that you- Daylight! Daylight! Daylight come and me one go one! Uh-uh! What? I don't know what's happening. Um, uh, we're gonna have to do this a different day. I, I, oh, so you know what's happening. So you knew this whole time. So what do I have to do to end this? I have to draw Beetlejuice. From the movie? You disappoint me in so many ways. I thought we had something going on. You keep it secrets. That's what I'm for. I'm done. I'll draw Beetlejuice. Damn. Let's go. Uh-uh, get your plate. I ain't picking up after you. Well, what is up, my juicy friends? How y'all doing? I actually was not planning on drawing Beetlejuice. If you saw from my post the other day, I was actually just gonna draw Lydia from Beetlejuice. I was not happy with this painting drawing at all. Um, I drew her multiple times, and once it came to the oil pastels, I kinda just gave up and said, nope, I'm not doing it anymore. Just to show you what she looks like, here is Miss Lydia, Lydia Dietz. I will say she's growing on me just a little bit, but you know what? She's still not as juicy as what I hoped she would be. I'm gonna set her up here. And here's some of the footage of her being made. So what you're seeing is actually the making of the second drawing because I hated the first one so much I deleted all the footage. Once I was done working on the second one, I just realized this is not it. I cut it up, made a collage, and you know, once I had everything put down, I started painting. And once I painted, it just did not look right. I did not like it at all. I tried doing the scratchy scratches and I thought that would make the, the whole drawing work. It didn't. I tweaked a lot. I tweaked some of the colors. I blended some. I even made her nose a little bit bigger. At the end of the day, it just was not what I wanted to look like. Am I growing on her? Yes. But there are also some things I would have changed that I can't change now. But you know what? It pushed me to make Beetlejuice. So let's go ahead and draw Beetlejuice in oil pastel. But before that, we must try our candy. Y'all, I'm interrupting the video. Sorry. Pugsley who? Check out this sweater real quick. I went to my P.O. box today. Ah! Y'all sent me stuff. I had to do it on camera because I'm so excited. Hold on, why y'all so high up? I got a package here it's from Tara. I hope it's okay if I say your name. It's from Texas. I hope I'm saying your first name right. Oh my God. First of all, thank you so much. And you said black bean. Oh my God, I love you. <laughs> I'm so excited. I love opening stuff. But I told y'all to send me letters, not whole packages. Stop! Oh my god! I've been wanting to try these. Oh, girl. Black Forest Juicy Bears. Oh my god! Rest in peace, teeth. What well, is this black bean? Happy pumpkin day. Keep motivating and stay juicy. Ter Once again, I really hope I'm saying your name right, y'all. Okay, we got another letter. This is from D. Ning from North, North South Dakota. What is NS? NS. Canada! <laughs> oh my gosh, hello! It's stickers! Look how cute these are! Mm. Stop it. Oh, I gotta go tear up. I love this so much. I'm tearing up. Ew, don't look at me. Just look at this, please. 
Ew, stop. Ew. Don't get emotional, girl. Uh -uh. Here's a watercolor I made of you. Hope you like it. An admirer from North. P.S. It's not candy, but a couple stickers for you as well. Hold on. Hold on. The next one. I can't open this. We have EJ sour jelly beans. <laughs> Thank you so much, EJ. One second. Let me see where you're from. EJ is from KY, which I believe is Kentucky. Thank you so much, EJ from Kentucky. They said happy spooky season sour beans for the best bean. <laughs> Thank you for continually putting out the good vibes. Enjoy from EJ. Thank you so much, EJ. You know I will enjoy and I will indulge, period. We got the big mama. This one's from Juanita from VA, Virginia. This was a big thing. Thank you so much. You know I'm a sucker for these, right? Yes, of the man. <laughs> Oh, it exploded everywhere. Oh no, Juanita the paint got everywhere. Ah, it's getting all over my shirts. Oh, it's just so primer. Juanita, how did you know I needed this? Don't get it twisted, it just leaked a little bit. Stop it. She got me all the pastels. Two stacks, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, there's another little box on the bottom. Stop. They make these? Look. These are Mungio oil pastels, but they're like jumbo. So there's a note to it says sitting in the drawer collecting dust, enjoy it. Oh, thank you so much. It says your friend in the box. In the box, girl, you're in here? I'm so grateful, thank you so much. You know I'm about to get more creative after y'all sent me this. You know I'm gonna get a little bit uh, thicker after eating all this candy, so thank you. I appreciate that. Y'all made me the happiest bean today. Thank you so much, and thank you so much for watching. Now back to the video. Wasn't that just so rude interrupting our video? Anyway, we have so much candy. I had bought so much candy before, and I have so much now. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. Really just made my day. I don't even know which one to try. I really want to try these. These Laffy Taffy Half Bites. Hold on, these are everything. Oh, I love these. Delicious. I have so much candy at this point. I'm actually going to try another one. Um, let me try these. Black Forest, so juicy, so good. Juicy Burst Centers. Oh, they're like gushers. Illegal. Illegal. They're like gummy bear gushers. So delicious. So good. Once again, thank you guys so much. So this intro is super, super long. I apologize for that, but... Now, let's go ahead and draw Mr. Beetlejuice. Well, hello, my fellow spookies. I just wanted to jump in real quick with a voiceover just to let you guys know what's happening here. So, this is going to be Strathmore paper. It's 18 by 24. I went in straight up with Crayola like I always do. I don't know if you can tell, but oh my gosh, I hated this first sketch. So, I went with the eraser, tried to erase as much as possible. You can't really do it that well, but it ended up doing okay. Uh, anyways, I kind of made it a little bit more asymmetrical, made him a little more goofy looking, added my little funky style, um, and I'm so glad I did that because I hated the initial sketch. Looking like straight up Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. So, from there, I kind of went in with more of a lumpy looking sketch, and then I went in on top with more uh, Crayola. Um, now, as you can see here, I went in with a layer of Crayola. But later on, I switched over to some Mungio, and Mungio is a little bit more opaque and a little bit more creamy. But once I started doing that, I realized I don't really like the look of that. It looks a little too clean, a little too polished. So I went in with more Crayola just to make it a little bit more, more dirty. Because I wanted this to be more of a loose painting drawing type thing, because Mr. Beetlejuice, <laughs> he dirty. Oh, and don't get me started on this damn nose. I was so disappointed. It took me a while to figure out what I wanted to do. Did I want to go more realistic um, and go with the picture or did I want to add my flair to it? The photo I used was a little strange because there was a lot of different lights and a lot of different colors bouncing off the nose. So it was really hard to, to mimic that. So I ended up just kind of making it, making sure it looked like a nose um, and kind of added my own shadows to the nose because it was really hard to mimic that photo. And on top of that, it was really hard to find a good reference photo for Mr. Beetlejuice because there's a lot of iconic photos but I'm not really good with teeth and I don't know if you guys have tried this but doing teeth with oil pastel is like almost impossible especially if you want to make it look good that's why I wanted to make this a little bit more of a loose portrait and not so uh, blended and sharp 
Oh, and let me correct myself. When I say it's impossible, I just mean it's very difficult. Obviously, anything's possible. Um, I'm just not well uh, equipped to, to do that. I need more practice, of course, and I need to stylize more. And obviously, do, doing portraits like this really help um, because it kind of opens my brain to different ways of solving problems like teeth. And real quick, let me talk about the skin. I was going to do that green moss around his face, but I decided not to because I wanted to bounce off a lot of colors off of his face because in reality, his face makeup was most likely white with his purple eyes, of course. But I didn't want to make it that boring, so that's why I bounced off a whole bunch of different colors off of his face. I wanted some cool neon reflections, and I think it ended up looking really cool. Um, I was struggling with the background and the hair, as you probably can tell. Um, I just went ahead and just did the hair. I was stressing over it, and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to do it. It's green. Green is green, and I added some neon highlights at the end of them. And you know I had to do like a pastel pinkish in the background just so everything kind of just pops out. I do love contrasty colors. Ah! Ah! Oh my god. Sorry, I know I scared y'all last time in my last video. But oh my gosh, the scratchy scratches here. Y'all so excited for this. Oh my god. I always be doing these voiceovers at like 1 a.m. So I'm so sorry, Miss Nables. <laughs> but once the scratchy scratches were done, here he is. I am so proud of this one. Um, I'm so glad I did something else from Beetlejuice and not just Lydia. And I hope this goes to show, never give up, y'all. <laughs> I'm done! Ah! Peep the fit. Peep it. Peep the fit. And my back hurts so bad. Ugh. Quit looking. Here he is! I try to get like my best Tim Burton 80s outfit on, but this is why I'm wearing the normal on the regular. Good looking, nasty. Oh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, concerns, please let me know down in the comments below. If you have a candy, I should try. Um, at the moment, I would say hold off. I have a long list, and I kind of want to throw in like pastries. Like, I want to make some stuff, you know what I mean? I might hold off on the candy suggestions for now. But, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, a like, give it a like! But you know what's crazy? If you were to, like, put these two side by side, like, you would say, you know, they might be in the same, like, universe, because they have really big foreheads, like the daddy. Look at my forehead. <laughs> but no, tell me which one you like more. Here's a little close-up on Miss Lydia. Oh, Ooh, that was still wet. That's oil paint. I'm gonna have to clean that up. Tell me down below which one you like better. Both of them are very much still my babies. None of them are going to the garbage. But if I was to choose, I would definitely say Mr. Beetlejuice has to be my favorite of the two. But Miss Lydia is low-key growing on me just a little bit, but she's just not, she's just not there. Like I said, I had a video edited ready to go with Miss Lydia. I just decided not to post it because I just didn't like it. I turned around and made Mr. Beetlejuice, and I'm so glad I did because I made this. And I think it looks really cute, C cute, cute. Spooky season is almost over. Ew, I hate saying that. Ew. It but for me, it's all year round. However, I'm going to go all out. I'm going to go out with a bang and I hope you guys stay tuned and join in with me also please don't feel the need to send me anything and if you do feel free to send me a doodle a letter don't feel the need to send me anything big um I have a very small apartment okay anyways once again thank you guys so much for watching I can't feel my left leg I don't think I have anything else to say besides stay juicy stay creative and for the next 11 days make sure to stay spooky or forever like me bye love y'all